As we know, welding is used to join two work pieces with the application of heat and with or without application of pressure. In welding, heat is generated with the help of heat source and it penetrates the full depth of the workpiece or the required depth and we require filler material which will fill the gap between the two parts with the application of heat and pressure. Welding is a process which requires number of things to perform joining work. To understand the welding, we should know the basic terms related to welding which are required to perform welding jobs. The basic terms related to welding or it is also called welding terminology will give you practical knowledge about the welding process. Hello everyone, welcome to Code Screen. In this video, we are going to discuss about welding terminology or basic terms related to welding. So in this category, the first term for the welding is base metal. So base metal is defined as metal which is to be joined. The metal which we are going to join or the work pieces which we are going to join is defined as base metal. Now the second term is backing. So backing is defined as a material support which is provided at the root side of the weld to aid in the control of penetration. So backing is defined as a support and it is supporting the weld metal during the welding process. So let us understand the base metal and backing concept with the help of this diagram. So here we have two types of weld. This first diagram is representing butt weld and the second diagram is representing fillet weld. So in butt weld you can see two parts. So this is our first work piece and this is our second work piece and both the work pieces we are going to join. So these are called the base metals. Now if we want to define the backing. So at the bottom of this particular base metal you can see this particular term. It is written here backing. So backing is defined as the material which is providing the support to the base metal. And it is placed at the root side of the weld. Here you can see the root. So root side we can define as the bottom side of the base metal. So it is placed at the root side of the base metal. And it is providing support to the base metal. Now what is root? So root we defined as the point at which two work pieces which is to be joined by welding is nearest. Or we can say the point of deepest penetration. The point at which we are going to join two work pieces or the base metal and both the metals or both the work pieces are placed nearest. So the point of deepest penetration we can define as root. Now you can see the root opening. Another term is root opening or we can say root gap. So root gap is defined as the minimum distance between two work pieces before joining. So root we can define as the point at which two work pieces which is to be joined by welding is nearest and root gap or root opening is the minimum distance between the work pieces. This is the first work piece, this is the second work piece and here you can see this distance this is the minimum distance between the work pieces before joining. Now as we have discussed about the backing. So in backing we have discussed material support provided at the root side of the weld to aid in the control of penetration. So penetration we can define as the height of the weld. Penetration how we define penetration height or we can say depth of the weld. So depth up to which weld metal combine with the base metal. So here you can see this particular depth or height is representing the penetration. So penetration is defined as the depth up to which weld metal combine with the base metal. Now one more term which we are going to define here that is the reinforcement. So reinforcement we can define 
as the amount of material projected from the base metal. So this is the level of base metal. You can see this is the level of base metal and reinforcement we can define as the amount of material projected from the base metal. So above the level of base metal, whatever embossed area we are having for the welding or uh, for the filler material, that is called the reinforcement. So this distance, you can see this distance is representing reinforcement and this total distance is representing the penetration. And this area where we are performing welding, that is represented as the heat affected zone or we can define as the weld pool also. Weld pool is defined as the amount of liquid metal between the work pieces before welding. Weld pool is defined as what? The amount of liquid metal between the work pieces before welding. So weld pool we can define in this particular area only. Now the next term is bead or it is called weld bead. So weld bead we can define as the amount of material added into the workpiece during a single pass. Bead we can consider it is separated from the base metal and it is added during a single pass. So it is the amount of material added into the workpiece during a single pass. So here, suppose this is the first workpiece, this is the second workpiece and during welding, whatever filler material we are using, so the amount of material added into the workpiece, so it will add here only, in this particular area only. So the amount of material added into the workpiece in the single pass, during the single pass of the electrode. So that is defined as the weld bead. The next is crater. So crater we can define as depression in the weld metal pool at the point where arc strike the base metal pool. So crater we can define in terms of starting of welding when electrode is in contact with the base metal. So the depression in the weld metal pool, weld pool is what the amount of liquid metal between the workpiece before welding. So crater we define as the depression in the weld metal pool here only at the point where the arc strike the base metal pool. So at the starting we can define the crater in the form of depression. Next is puddle. So puddle we can define as the portion of weld joint that melted by the heat of the welding. So the portion of this welding joint which is melting with the help of heat of the welding. So that is defined as the puddle. So puddle area we will define here only because everything which is related to heat is going to happen here. Now the next term you can see as face. So face is defined as the upper surface of the weld pool or we can say upper surface of this filler material uh, after filling and the root is the bottom surface. Root we can define as the point at which two pieces to be joined by welding is nearest and the face is the topmost surface. In case of fillet weld, this is the case of butt weld, in case of fillet weld, the root we can define here only. In fillet weld, this is the form of weld we define in fillet weld in the form of fillet. So this is the nearest or this is the shortest distance between the work pieces as the work pieces are joined in perpendicular manner uh, to form a fillet. So this particular point we can define as the root. So here face and root we can define. Now next term you can see that is the throat. So throat is the shortest distance between the weld face and the root. So this distance from here to here, this total distance we can define as the throat. The shortest distance between the weld face and the root is called throat. And one more point which you have to remember here, which is related to throat, it is the throat is the weakest point of the weld. In case of fillet weld mostly, 
द थ्रोट इज द वीकेस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द फिलेट वेल्ड नाउ द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज ट्रैक वेल्ड सो ट्रैक वेल्ड वी कैन डिफाइन एज अ टेम्परेरी ज्वाइंट विच होल्ड टू पार्ट टूगेदर बिफोर एक्चुअल वेल्डिंग ट्रैक वेल्ड इज वॉट इट इज द टेम्परेरी ज्वाइंट विच होल्ड टू पार्ट टूगेदर बिफोर एक्चुअल ज्वाइनिंग सपोज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन टू पार्ट हियर सपोज दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट एंड बोथ द पार्ट वी वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू सपोर्ट बोथ द वर्क पीसेस टूगेदर सो वी नीड टेम्परेरी ज्वाइंट और बी वी प्रोवाइड टेम्परेरी ज्वाइंट टू द वर्क पीसेस सपोज वन टेम्परेरी ज्वाइंट हियर एंड अनदर टेम्परेरी ज्वाइंट हियर टू होल्ड द पोजिशन ऑफ दीज वर्क पीसेस सो दीज पॉइंट्स with the help of welding material or with the help of filler material or with the help of arc here we provide temporary joint on the work pieces to hold the position so that is defined as the track weld so it is the temporary joint which hold two parts together before actual welding after forming these two points or after forming track weld and when we have the proper positioning of the work pieces we will perform the actual welding at overall distance now the next point is deposition rate deposition rate is defined as the rate at which weld metal is deposited per unit time deposition rate it is depending on the speed of the welding so the deposition rate we can define as the rate at which the weld metal is deposited per unit time and the unit of deposition rate we can define as kg per hour so it is depends on the speed of the welding now coming to the fillet weld so let's see some points related to fillet weld so fillet weld is consisting number of terms like root toe weld face etc so fillet weld we can define where the metal fused into the corner of the joint made of two pieces placed perpendicular to each other so here we have two work pieces one and two which are placed perpendicular to each other and here metal is fused into the corner of the joint so these are the corner of the joint so metal is fused here to perform the joining operation or to perform the welding and joint is made of two pieces placed perpendicular to each other so this is fillet weld but when when two pieces are at the same level but in fillet weld both the work pieces should be perpendicular to each other now here root i have already defined so now next point which is related to fillet weld is toe so the toe or the toe of weld we can define as the junction between weld face and base metal so toe you can see here this is the position of toe so toe is the junction between weld face and base metal so this is defined as toe of the weld now the next is weld face weld face is defined as the exposed surface of the weld you can see here this is the weld face so weld face is the exposed surface of the weld now one more thing which you need to remember here one more term that is fusion zone or i have already taught you about the heat affected zone or the fusion zone so the fusion zone it is also called fusion zone so fusion zone is defined as the portion of material that have undergone melting so that is called the fusion zone where we are considering the application of heat now the next but very important term it is called weld metal weld metal is very important in the welding the metal which solidified at the joint during the welding is called the weld metal it is considered as the filler material also so it can be base metal or the mixture of base metal and filler material the next term is weld pass so weld pass we can define as a single pass or movement along the length of the joint 
by welding torch or electrode which result bead in the weld pass weld pass is what it is defined as the single pass or movement of the electrode or movement along the length of the joint by welding torch or the electrode and it is resulting bead in the weld pass now what is welding torch or we can say torch so welding torch we usually use in the gas welding so it is a separate part which mixes fuel and oxygen and control the delivery to get desired flame so welding torch is considered as the separate part which used for the welding purpose and it usually mix fuel and oxygen and control the delivery to get the desired flame for the welding purpose now one more very important term which i'm going to discuss here which is related to the filler material or we can say the electrode and the wire feed so basically there are two types of filler material we use one is stick and another is wire feed stick we use in the form of electrode and wire feed we use as bare wire and flux wire so if we want to use electrode so electrode we use with the help of electrode holder and the welding machine and the arc created between the electrode and metal and it act as a filler material there is no additional gas is required if we are using electrode as a filler material for the welding if we are using wire feed so wire gun usually hold the wire which act as a filler material and arc is created between the wire and metal and it will perform the welding job there are two types of wire we used bare wire and flux wire bare wire is the wire where shielded gas is used to protect the wire but in flux wire it is already chemically coated it is chemically protected so there is no need of shielded gases to protect the wire now why we are using shielded gases and bare wire so these shielded gases are used to protect the molten metal or weld pool from the oxygen hydrogen and nitrogen present in the air these elements or so these gases can be responsible for many types of problems like welding defects for example porosity cracks etc so the use of shielded gas to protect the weld pool from the element which are responsible for the welding defect so these types of filler material we use we use electrodes and the wire feed for the filler material in the welding so these are the basic terminologies of the welding hope you understood all the concepts related to welding terminology in next video we will learn some more concepts related to welding so thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video press the like button if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe the channel immediately and press the bell icon and select all so you will get all the notification related to the activities of channel so thank you so much please like the video and subscribe the channel and share with your friends for their benefit you can share with your known person known people for their benefit so thank you so much and see you in next video